here we go. Oh, here's, oh, this is a really good one. Let's see, where is the best, okay, the best field this over here. So now we're going to look at field thistle, and it's one of our natives. It's a, a plant that you find in disturbed areas, but rarely does it invade managed areas such as roadsides and uh, pastures. You can't, you'll find it in prairies. It, it just doesn't do well in areas that get management at all, such as a pasture. To a lot of people, you know, again, a thistle is a thistle, but this one we really shouldn't worry too much about. Now this one looks pretty similar. The leaf shape is very similar to bull thistle in that it has these very deeply lobed leaves. And as with thistles, you have the sharp spines at the tips of those lobes. And it's, it's very pubescent. And so if you just look at the leaf shape, the field thistle looks very similar to bull thistle. But the simplest way to differentiate the two is if you look at the underside of the leaf, very light in color. Whereas with a bull thistle, the underside of the leaf will be basically the same color as the upper side. So you just see the contrast in the color of the upper and lower leaf surfaces. That tells you, tells you you're dealing with field thistle. We also have tall thistle, which is another uh, native species. Uh, tall thistle normally find it more along the edges of tree lines. Now, another way to differentiate field thistle from musk, bull, and Canada thistle is the time of flowering, middle of June, and the musk thistle, the bull thistle, and Canada thistle are all in flower. Whereas the field thistle, uh, its flower heads are starting to form, but they, they haven't emerged yet. So the native thistles uh, flower typically two, two weeks to eight weeks later than uh, the invasive species. And so if you find a thistle flowering in July and August, there's a good likelihood it's gonna be one of the native species.